Hello and welcome back to Bendy and the Dark Bubble. Part 10. Let's get cracking. Hello, we are back. Um, are we charged? We're charged. Right, so we're moving forward through this building now uh, after our little detour in the last episode. Uh, yeah, we know what this is, don't we? Deep six level badge required beyond this point. So, I feel like this is a intimidating area because there's a lot of space. Uh, so what do we do? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay, uh, I should have remembered that, shouldn't I? Wait there a second. Let's let's heal up because uh, we are not doing too well. So, this took us into, yes, we did visit here in the last episode, I think, the saving kind of, I don't know, the, sa the save function on this game is a bit odd, I think. Does that, is there actually nothing in here to find? It seems a bit odd that there's absolutely nothing. Must be something, or is it just... Just to get a look at that guy. Uh, from the... Because we sort of said, didn't we? He might be the merry-go-round chap. Right. So. We've already... Uh, we've already... Experienced and uh, seen the keepers now. So that's that's good. I'm glad we sort of got to do... Do that in the last episode because uh, they're actually not that bad, are they? Really? Um, it's it's. Oh. Um, excuse me, sir. Can you help me? You must be real lost to be asking me for help. I'm just looking for answers about the keepers, Wilson. The cycle, anything could help. What's your name? Audrey. What's yours? Honestly, I've almost forgotten. <sighs> My name is Henry. Have you been a prisoner long? The Keepers think you're a threat to their plans. They lock you away. Forever. Still, it's given me time to think. Things like, if you haven't eaten in years, you might not be human. Why would you be a threat to them? I'm what they call a cycle breaker. Once upon a time, I knew how to start the cycle over. And when that happens, everything begins again. Completely new. Obviously, Wilson and the Keepers don't want that to happen. How did you do it? Reset the cycle. Turns out the Ink Demon himself is the key. This world is his, but even he must obey its rules. For now, at least. If you can get him to look at something very specific, it will reset everything. What is it? It's just a reel of film, labeled with the words, The End. I can see it in my mind every day. Stairs in the pit. I'll see if I can break in and steal it. Maybe if I reset the cycle, we could make things better for everyone here. And what about you? I just want to go home. So did I. Good luck, Audrey. If you need me again, you know where to find me. Why? What was that huge noise? Oh dear. We have the upgrade now though, don't we? So that's good. Uh, we've got a bit more. I need to remember that, that we've got a bit more in our, you know, line of defense. Um, so that was Henry. That's really interesting. So he sort of talks about, yeah, obviously the film from the first game, which is how you defeat Bendy, isn't it? Like, uh, you... 
run the film that says the end on it. I do remember that. So we need to find that. But then I'm a, I'm a bit confused. Like it resets the cycle, so it'll essentially start the first game again, if you like. Or at least that's what I'm assuming. And then, um, what happens then? Like Wilson's gone. I don't know. I don't get it. I kind of get it, but I sort of don't get it as well. Right, okay. So. Oh, there's the pit. Please have your identification ready. For the pit. So. What's that? What's that? Can I take that? Oh, that's the mirror. Oh, that is the mirror. Yeah, it says contraband. That's the mirror from the first game where you can see secret notes. That's really cool. So, we've got full health. We've got... There's not a lot going on in this area, is there? Like, maybe I should drop back down and just have a look. Because I flicked two switches, have I now? Anybody in these cells? No. I'm about to do... Oh, no. We've never used those, have we? The battery refill. It's really weird. Uh, okay. Maybe we got a boss uh, coming up here. Which would be nice. Well. Would it be? Kind of looks like a boss. Oh, no. I was thinking that room looked bigger than it was. I can hear something. Mmm... Is it just that? Let's make a noise. Okay. Uh, nice one. Oh, memory. What was that? Milk? Okay. Is that a memory? There's always hope. But I remember just a pencil and a dream. So... I got anything in here? Nope. Not a lot happening in this area, but I might... sort of... eat my words... pretty soon. Okay, so we're gonna need a card to get in here by the looks. We're seeing all this stuff. Level 6, level 6. Yeah. Oh, they can't see. Oh, did I die? Foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into 
Chapter 5, The Dark Revival. Ooh. Oh, that's mine. That's just mine. Stay close. This place isn't as safe as it once was. So we're like... Signal towers and nearby abilities have been disabled. Uh, sorry, can I just... Hi there. I just want to check here, there, and... Uh, as long as I've got time to, of course. Wilson will have to wait. There's nothing in here, is there? Um, where are we? Can we say? Can we see? Where's the uh, track eight? Is that yeah? Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm wondering if I should be looting. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. I'm gonna be just doing a bit of looting here and there, though, because I feel like... Hmm. Secrets. This is what we like. Secrets. Nope. Nothing. Can we go on the track? Yep. Why would it let you go all the way down here and do all of this if there's nothing? Just being... You can see it stops there. Hmm. Okay. So... Somebody's... Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go, something. Old Track 77 is a quiet place these days. Ever since that terrible crash a few years back, people don't like to hang around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me they had had reports of some train going through that wasn't on the schedule. There were figures standing in the cars, staring through the windows, but it never stopped to let no one off. It just kept on going straight through. Some say it was the Silver Lane Express, the train that crashed. Kitty Thompson. Mm, could be, could be. Stranger things have happened. Uh, right, I'm gonna go. I think that's probably all we needed to do. Where's Wilson gone now? Uh, not very nice. So these these guys are pretty pretty beefy. Uh, that's where I went. Oh, okay. We will just have a little nosy. Like, this guy's like, don't... Oh, here you go. Oh, fuck. There you go. That was hiding. Got it. So... Nothing on the bat. Right, let's crack on. Street exit. Where's Wilson? Oh, that's him. I was going to smash him then. I thought he was a... Uh... The demon's evil continues to spread. 
This woman has begun to shudder. Be quiet! What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Oh, so we've seen these lights before. Um, oh. Oh, he's left us through on our own. He, we've seen these lights before, haven't we? They kind of... The subject will stand in the designated location. Right. I don't trust these guys or Wilson. I'm more so trust the Ink Demon, to be honest. Uh, at this stage of the game, because, uh... Wilson, the man who killed the Ink Demon. Um... Obviously, I know I need to go and stand over there, but I just want to check around. They're going to do something to us, aren't they? That's not... It's just not cricket. It was obviously Wilson who's attacked the Imp Demon before then. Uh... Oh my god, there's a gun right there. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. Oh, and an axe. So these are like the bits from the first game. Gem box. Uh, I really want that gun. Okay. Okay. What are you gonna do? Object detected. The subject will submit all weapons for further screening. Disarm now. No. Pick up the gun! That's what I should do, is just grab the gun. Oh, hang on a sec little second here. Erp. Oh, what's in there? What's in there? Nothing. Okay. The subject is cleared for Oh, I say so, yeah. Gonna go. It was a waste of time. How'd you get there? Civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Okay. Who's that? Alice? Who is that? She's kind of creepy looking. Wilson? And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You <laughs> What's that mean? never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No, he's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison. Although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? Come along. I still don't. I still He's don't believe you. A pitch is great. <laughs> uh, right. Okay. Thanks. Uh, what's her name? Betty. Oh, you're here at last. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to mm. give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. 
And then there's the North Wing. What's wrong with the North Wing? What's wrong with the North Wing? The Ink Demon got in there a while ago. Oh. And ever since, we've had to keep the North Wing locked up tight. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. Uh, I was going to say, like, welcome to the civilized world, and the first thing I'm trying to do is loot. Uh, that girl's, like, glitching. It's not... It's weird. It's like, if I... If I stay still, she doesn't look too bad, but then when I walk, it's like they look like she. I have guests to look after, especially one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. Like that, it's weird. That's that's not lagging. It's just um, I know it's the game itself. All right, here we are. Best room in the house. Cheers, nice. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean. The bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. Okay. Thank you. I have no idea what this is all about. Not a clue. But I'll take that book. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not going to read all this. It's too much. So, you can pause on that one. Sorry. There's like a whole book. Okay. What's that all about? She still stood there. Okay, you're weird, dude. You're really weird. Um, I guess we should look in the bathroom. Nope. Okay then. Uh, sit. No. Sleep. No. Are we just gonna get like attacked or something? I'm going to sit down. Okay, so I just need to go back and speak to her again. This is weird. Why don't you just do it on the first bit? Did you have any questions? Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although... I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. But Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But Wilson takes care of me. Keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. I left something on the table that might just help you nod off. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Okay, then. This is all a bit confusing. What'd she say she left us? Okay. A Gilson. What's a Gilson? What's a Gilson? Pinch of salt. 
Cocoa powder, chamomile, soybeans, gilson. Hello. So that's us. Cool. Is that a gilson? Nope. Is something in here a gilson? Nope. Oh, I don't want to. Why am I sitting on this? <sighs> do, 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 do. Okay. Enough. Enough. Oh, come on. Come on. We just took a toilet break. So, where? Where's Sir Gilson? Oh, we should wash our hands. Can you do that? No. Why can't I go in there? Because that looks like he should be able to go in there. Brilliant. I'm going to take this book. Oh no, it's a thing. The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond. Special displacement of unknown elements. Let us imagine a long wire stretching between two points in time. We'll call this length of time the euphoric base. From here we can dispel all needs of societal norm normalcy, normal normalcy uh, and all typically understood junctions of world as we know as the present. Once the euphoric base is achieved, it creates a shared understanding that there must be space around the wire that is not the wire itself. This space, a cromley vacuum, could be in itself a host to many wires running in as many directions as we can perceive. Using a vessel of flow, a flux break, we can escape from our wire to another wire. This allows us to not just reveal these alternate time timescapes, but command them with a larger understanding of their existence. Further still, in theory, we can bring elements of one world into another, displacing matter into a new state regardless of the current host wire's rules. The reality and function of the elements becomes a new euphoric base. Nothing here. Next page. Okay. So these are clues, aren't they? I don't think it's that. Well, that didn't tell me anything. So we're just reading the books. Ah, the Gilson. So it's a fish. This is one strange little fish. It's pretty hard to come by. The Gilson is not known to be easy to catch and will be ignore most bait. To make matters worse, the Gilson can move very fast, making it a rare sight. In the end, I was able to snatch me up this little guy with a very clever solution. Apparently, the Gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock upon hearing some sweet music. So crank up the tunes and this fish will be easy to grab. Crush up the Gilson into powder, stir into water for a powerful, soothing drink. So I'm looking for a fish. fish? Yeah. There's so. gotta be one here somewhere. I have bigger matters at hand. A man in a black coat came asking. Well, hang on a moment, though. Am I gonna catch a fish, or has somebody already caught a fish, and now I'm going to. Oh no, we've been down there. Okay, so we can't go in there, so we've been into the lab place. Let's just try down here first. These are just sit. Oh, crank the tunes. Uh, cool. Can I search that? Yeah. No. Nothing. Okay. Can't grab it. Ugh, he's too fast. Okay, so this is uh, ideal. Maybe if it was closer. It's not in shock. Maybe if it was closer.
How does she mean? Uh, what, maybe if it was closer? What does she mean by that? So you can't sit. You can play. Hold up. Yeah, move. I was going to say something highlighted. Maybe I just smash the tank with the piano and pick the fish up off the ground. Would that work? Uh, let's go. Yes. Looks like the fish is asleep. Yes. Oh. Ah. Ah. Okay. Thank you. Gotcha. You can't get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> oh. Uh, <laughs> hello. I uh, oh, forgot the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen, too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. He does so hate the dry air. <laughs> okay, then. So that was fun. I don't know what then. I, I have no idea what is going on here, and why we're in Wilson's, like, mansion, and... Oh, can we move that and get in there? No. Yeah, I just don't... I just don't know. I just don't know what's going on. This game's took a bit of a strange turn, I think. And what it's all about, we're yet to find out. Uh, okay, so we can just... Ah, take. Now, just three sips of water. Is that water? It looks like ink. One. Two. Three. <gasps> <gasps> oh, I was almost afraid you'd miss my party. What? What's going on? Oh. It seems you're just a little overwhelmed. It's all right, honey. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory. Angel. Angel. <laughs> Alice Angel, to be exact. That's who I am. A saint from above. Embed in perfection. What? Do you want? <sighs> right to the chase. I like that. The truth is, honey, you're one of a kind. And to put it bluntly, what I want is your face removed, your skin peeled away like paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. Custom parts ready for my delicious harvest. Generous sacrifice. I'll be beautiful. But for now, let's have fun. Plenty of time for a bloodbath later. Ooh, how about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles? Oh, what a wonderful idea! No. <sighs> all right. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. 
but it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong. You fry. Let's begin. Okay. Uh, I thought these were all versions of ourselves, to be honest. Uh, is there not some way I can just, uh, you know, find a weapon, smash her up? That'll do. What if I throw the switch? What's that? Oh, there's a ladder there. What you got there? Okay, so there's four switches. We've got... Um, a rabbit, a bird, looks like a fox, oh my god, we got loads, monkey, pig, that looks like a rabbit, bird, fox, I guess, bear, monkey, pig, bear, monkey, pig, okay, then you pull, uh, let's just see what that does. So it fries us, yeah? Does that fry us? Okay. So we got to follow these lines now. See what's going on with these uh, electrical lines. Right, so they come down. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. Fox and rabbit won't go together. I may need a notepad here. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. Wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. Okay. So that is that gonna say that the fox sits on the right? So let's say uh what's going on? Oh we need to turn the switch off, yeah? Oh, uh, I guess we got to take a death here then. Sugar, I think we got to take a death here. Because it seems like that you can't turn that off. You can only turn it on once, so I've sort of done it. And now I sit down. She kills me. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Again. Fox. So the fox is on the right. So that's our starting point. Uh, and then I'll talk to this guy again. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. Yeah, so the bear and the bird. 
The fox has always hated the bear. They never so the ba the fox won't other. sit next to the bear. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to pour it in here. So, sorry, I'm, I'm a bit quiet. So I'd say the bird, that tells us the bird sits next to the box. So who's, uh, I should remember these, but I'm not this good at um, this kind of thing. So we need to know about the bird now. Uh, wait there, wait there. Didn't he say the bird and the bear? My I think. friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school. So his friend the bear sits next to the bird, so the bird sits next to the fox because he likes to live dangerously. These two went to school together. Which is those two. So now we need to know who would sit by the bear. That isn't the bird. Um, sorry, let's listen to you again. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but... Yes, we got that one. He likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves to play for company. That's the one. So it's now the rabbit. Yeah, rabbit. And we should be golden. He likes the playful company of the bear. Oh, I just pressed too many times. There he is. Right. Let's turn the power on. Let's just double check before we do. Well, we got to go down now anyway. But, so, it said the fox would never sit on the left. So he's got to be far right. And then it says the bird likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. The bird and the bear went to school together. And the rabbit loves the playful company of the bear. So that works. That's really quite simple. Right, Alice. Let's try again, shall we? Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Three, two, one. Oh, all the people who helped us are dead. Oh, I feel bad now. That's uh, pretty stingy, isn't it? Okay, so I'll just quickly check in this area. So I guess we just leave now and that's it. Awesome. No. Guess not. Oh, if we gotta hide from Alice Angel, maybe. Charge gem pipe. Maybe not. Maybe we can um take her out. Whoa! What are we on on the upgrades? Nah, not very much. We got two. I think we had two last time as well. Could do, could have done with that gun though, can we? Let's just do a refill. And then we might have to call it and um...
Oh, so Alice is there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to call it here, because um, I'm not sure what's uh, coming up or going to be happening next. So, uh... So, um, hopefully we're going to battle Alice Angel in the next episode, but we shall see. Uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, and if you got to the end of this video, and I will catch you in part 11. Alright!